Hi Stampers, this is Sarah with StinkingCuteCards.com and I have the first of September's Take Three Cards. This is the um, series of uh, cards that we do each month in the studio and um, the class is free with a $25 order and um, this was one using some of the DSP designer series paper that is on sale here in um, September. So we use both the flora, floral essence and the woven heirlooms which also coordinate with some of the papers. This is the CS Silhouette paper, designer paper, and also the Woven Traditions designer paper, both of which are quite lovely. So um, this is just a fun little fun fold. And this is the card that we did. And I'm going to give you a quick overview on how to stamp this and put it together. So um, what I did was I have scored the paper um, for you. I have the bone folder here. It was I scored the first score at one and a half and then um, this one is two and three quarters so um, that is what it's just a little flap card and let's stamp the inside because that is the first order of business all right so we are just going to go ahead and use the thinking of you for the inside stamping with the blackberry bliss and then this is just a little scrap of the designer paper. I love this one. Um, the, the look I was going with was um, this paper is pretty bright. So I felt like I kind of wanted to keep the images um, a little more subtle because that way it shows off the lovely paper more than, um, you know, it doesn't distract from the paper. So, um, so I'm using Crushed Curry. Crushed Curry was the color, the featured color this, past, this month. And add that. To our card front. When I'm using the snail, I usually like an inch in each of the four corners, one in the center, and call it good. So that's the inside. Pretty easy. Okay, then I used a little strip of the, a little more of the Blackberry Bliss, and I went ahead and ran it through the subtle folder. And add that right here in the front. And add a strip of that Sia Silhouette. Gorgeous paper, by the way. I'm actually going to flip that around. I think I want my flowers to go the other direction. And that's the beauty of Snail. You have a few seconds to um, reposition it if you have to. Okay, there we go. Cute. All right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the um, stitched shape. I have the Wishing You a Day of Love and Joy. I think this would be a great wedding card. It would make a lovely um, anniversary card. So, even a birthday, really. And all right, so then we're just gonna attach that to the um, scallop circle that I have die cut from Old Olive. So the three colors we're using with Crushed Curry is Blackberry Bliss, Old Olive, and also um, the uh, Blackberry Bliss, Crushed Curry, Old Olive. So. Those were the colors that we were using. And let's go ahead and add some of the gold thread. Now, what I did was I only want, I wanted the gold thread to be looped around this side. So what I did was I went ahead and added some dimensionals. So I want it to make sure it's on the correct side because it needs to be on the outside. So I just went ahead and added a couple of um, dimensionals and using some of our gold thread I found that if I just wrap it around my fingers a couple of times and you break it then what I was going to do is I can add it and sneak the ends in like that and that way it gives a real nice and this is what it's going to look like all right, so now we need something to hold this card shut to begin with. So what I did was I stamped the flower with crushed curry on crushed curry paper. Some crushed curry. And if you are judicious, what you want to do is because this is um, when you 
put your punch in to punch it, make sure that you're stamping it with the three petals down. And that way, what you can do is just go ahead and easy, more easily punch those out. You don't have to worry about, easier to line it up that way. Okay. All right, um, I just simply went ahead and glued the petals together and I kind of bent them up a little bit. And um, in that Perennial Essence Suite, there is some of the vellum, colored vellum. I believe it's crushed curry. I think it's petal pink and old olive. And we're just going to punch out a couple of the leaves with the leaf punch and adding some adhesive on the back. We are going to attach our leaves. There we go. And there. Oop. I'm gonna add a little more of this snail. It is not sticking today. We will make it stick. All right, so that is what our little image and what I'm hoping to do is attach it here with a dimensional and that way it holds it shut. So just putting a dimensional on here on the back and adding this right here. Oop, let's kind of spread this out a little bit so that it looks better. All right, so this is the outside, opens up to the inside. So just so sweet and simple, um, easily to easy, easy to duplicate, um, and you can make some real fun, some really cute little cards using this stamp set. Um, again, uh, I've used the woven heirlooms and floral essence with the Sia Silhouette paper, so um, just kind of mixed and matched some of the things that were um, available here in the annual catalog. So thanks again for joining. Mm -hmm.